Do you want to make your footage go from looking like this to this? Then stick around because I'll be showing you how in this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's going on you guys? So this video was actually requested by one of you guys. I really hope this will help you when you're trying to edit your own videos. And if you do want to see a specific video, drop it down in the comments below. I will definitely see it because I read all the comments and I try my best to respond to everyone. I have a special announcement at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through, otherwise you will miss it. But other than that, let's go ahead and let's get started in the tutorial. So I've opened up Premiere Pro here and I've also loaded up the clip that we're gonna be applying the LUT to. So for those who don't know, LUT stands for lookup table and basically what it does is it changes specific colors to achieve a specific look. Wait, what is, what's the actual definition? Let's see here. So according to Google, a LUT transforms color input values to your desired output values. So it's basically right, but uh, that just sounded a lot smarter. Anyway, so first thing you want to do is create a new adjustment layer and you can do that by clicking this button here and clicking adjustment layer. And then what we want to do is drag that over top of our clip and we can extend that. So now we have an adjustment layer on top of our clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the adjustment layer and we're gonna make sure that we're in the color tab because what we want to find is this input LUT button. So once you find that, we're gonna click that, select browse, and locate the folder where you downloaded your LUT to. So for me, I just put mine in my downloads folder. We're gonna click that. And as you guys can tell, instantly the footage looks really saturated. So this is way too oversaturated and this is not what we want it to look like. So there's a few changes we can make to get it to look a lot better and a lot more professional. So make sure your adjustment layer is still selected. Go up to the effect controls tab and we're gonna go find the opacity tab. And for me, I usually bring this down to about 40%. So let's do that again here. Drag that nicely. So already our footage is looking a lot nicer. You guys can tell already, but uh, there's one more thing we can do to make it pop a little bit more. So still having your adjustment layer selected and also still in the color tab, we're gonna go down and find the curves tab. We're gonna actually create in this top one here, a slight S curve. So what this does is it'll create a little bit more contrast in your image and it'll just make it pop a little bit more. So down here you have your, your shadows. We brought those shadows down. Up here are your midtones and then up here are your highlights. So just by upping the highlights and bringing down those shadows, it creates a nice contrast, which will make your footage look a lot nicer. So let's take a look at what that looks like without it and with it. So now our footage is looking very professional. Here is a before and then here's an after. So by using LUTs, you can really make your footage stand out and it'll be more attractive to your audience, which will in turn hopefully get you a few more subscribers. So I personally use Kino LUT for all of my videos and I think it was around $20 online. It's basically an orange and teal LUT and I'll put the link down below so you guys can go check that out if you want it. Remember there are no right or wrong LUTs to use because it really all depends on what style of video you're looking for. So for me, the orange and teal works really well but for you guys, you might want a green or I don't know, a red. So yeah, there's thousands of LUTs out there and all of them will work if you use them correctly. So I hope this video actually helped you guys in editing your videos. I hope you guys are able to make your footage stand out a little bit more, make it look a little bit more professional. And uh, I have an announcement to make as well. So today I am launching my first editing competition on Instagram. I've uploaded a video to my IGTV on Instagram and in the description of that video is a link. It'll take you to three raw photo files which are there for you guys to edit. To have a chance at winning, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. You should follow me on Instagram. I'll have that in the link below. And then when you post your edited photo, you should hashtag it, or you must hashtag it, otherwise I won't see it. You must hashtag it, Nomads Edit. I'll put that up on the screen so you guys can see it, but Nomads Edit. Next week, I'll be picking the best edit for each photo, so there'll be three winners. Those who win, they'll be featured on my story, which all my audience will be able to see. Yeah, get creative with it. I wanna see what you guys can come up with. So the more creative you are, the better of a chance you have at winning. With that said, I will see you in the next one.